Welcome to Smacky's Garage. Today, we're gonna start doing some electrical work. So the GTM has a mess of wiring in the rear of the car. We're gonna try to clean up and organize some of that. We're gonna get the computer installed and then get it one step closer to running. So today's project, we're gonna tackle all this wiring in the computer. The computer's gonna mount it there. All the wiring's gonna be there. So we should be one step closer to running the car. To do this, all this wire needs to be attached. It's gonna go into these connectors, which luckily they're all labeled with the color as well as the, the number, the pin number. And then most of the wiring down here is labeled too, so we should be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start mounting the computer. I have the computer out of a 2002 Corvette. I have the mounting brackets. I have one of them. And I have the other one over here on the car. And I have the throttle controller. Now all these need to get mounted on the car so we can start wiring it up. The way this is gonna get installed is the computer is gonna go inside of here somehow. This is gonna go on top. I lied, it goes this way. So this is gonna go right here. And then this side is also going to go right on the top and underneath it we're going to mount the throttle control module down here. So to do this I'm going to need to mock everything up and I'm going to have to drill these in into the bottom bracket so that everything fits. Now in relation to the engine this is going to be mounted with the facing that way so I'm going to have two bolts here two bolts on the other side and then all the wiring is gonna be completed and need to be installed there. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes for this, get this mounted up, and we'll start on the wiring. Now I'm already running into my first problem, but this is, this and this are gonna clear, bolts will be up here, won't hit the computer. If I put this one in, it's gonna come up the top here, so I need to modify this somehow, or not care, one of the two. So not only is this gonna be a problem, I'm also going to have these brackets in the way. So I'm going to take them, I'm actually going to mark where they are. Fucking bolts don't fit either. Bolts don't fit, these holes have to be opened up. Brackets are in the way. We're off to a really good start. Okay, now with this in place, I can figure out where and how I'm gonna mount this. Honestly, there's no good place for this. Okay, so what I've decided is I'm actually gonna put this through one of these bolts and I'm gonna screw this in the center. It's gonna be slightly off, but it's still, it'll be in a better mounting position than where they originally wanted me to have it. So everything will still be lined up It'll just be slightly pointed to that way. So it looks like everything lined up pretty well. The computer's in, bolts aren't hitting anywhere, the throttle controller's down there and all set. Now, I'm just gonna take this set of wiring, plug it into the connectors. So now that I have this mocked up and everything looks okay, I'm actually gonna take it out and I'm gonna use some black paint and I'm gonna cover up the areas that I drilled just because I know they're the right size now and I wanna make sure that nothing corrodes over time. So one of the things that I like to do when I do this is cover Q-tip in black paint and use that to actually cover the holes. So you can see Q-tips covered in Rust-Oleum. This is what I'm going to be using. So there we have it. 
we have our computer installed. All right, now we're gonna start wiring this up. Luckily, a lot of them are labeled like R40, so I'm assuming red 40, and these are already punched. So, hopefully it should go smooth. I think the best way to do it is to install all the ones that are labeled, and then after I get those installed, take a look back at the wiring and uh, instructions and figure out what goes where. Like I can see this one is labeled 57, 57, 57. Doesn't have an R on it. But I can also see the 57 here is not punched. So there's a likelihood that it was never installed. Wonderful. So this is 20, 19, All right, working late into the night here, and you can see we've started to make some progress. So most of the wires are off of the floor. They're now plugged in. There's still some straight wires that I don't know where they go yet. Um, like this one's labeled 57, maybe 51. There is no 57 or 51. That takes a tan wire. And now I'm starting to work on the fuse box over here. So I have injectors, I have this, I gotta figure out what's gonna go where and how everything comes together. So that might be it for the night. Continue on again tomorrow. Well, the wiring's in a place where I feel like I can finally stop for a little bit, especially in the engine compartment. I think one of the things that I'm learning with this kit car is, you know, it's a lot of work to put together and not everything is gonna fit together perfectly. Everything that I go ahead and I try to do or attack, there's something else that needs to be modified. There's something that needs to be adjusted to make it make everything come together and fit. Now, with the wiring back here, this wiring back here is really temporary for now. It's, it's not gonna look like this forever. What I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I can get everything working, make sure that everything is, the engine fires, all the sensors are working before I start kind of cleaning it up and putting it back together. If for some reason I can't get it back together or some, there's some electrical issues, I'm probably gonna end up just replacing it with a stock LS1 harness, one that hasn't been taken apart before with all the wiring in the correct locations. It requires a little bit of modification, but I should be able to do it. So Thanksgiving set me up and the plan next week is I have the entire week off to work on the car. So a lot of work's gonna get done. We're gonna finish up the brake system. We're gonna get the fluids changed out in the engine, make sure everything is working. And then we're also gonna get the exhaust on the car. So installing the catalytic converters. We're gonna be installing the pipes that go out the back. So thanks for tuning into Smacky's Garage. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. And I'll see you next week as we build the GTM.